Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So today I have an unboxing and it's three little boxes with three little sets in and these have come to me from paintgem.com um, I've been looking at them for a while and thinking shall I shan't or shall I shan't I do like the idea of the little mini paintings if you've seen them and then this new set came out and you'll see why I just had to get it when you see what's in it Um, so yeah I've actually ended up with three boxes because I ordered two sets and unfortunately, Paint Gem, the day that they shipped it to me, realised they'd sent me one set incorrectly. So brilliant customer service emailed me and just said, look, we're really sorry. We've sent you the wrong set. Keep the wrong set. Um, and here's a voucher. Go through and order the new set. And they all arrived together. I mean, how good is that for customer service? You know, I didn't have to wait for it to arrive to me to say, yeah, I've got a wrong set. So thumbs up, Paint Gem. That's absolutely brilliant. Okay, oh, I've got a little uh, lid on my desk for some strange reason. Okay, just pop that in my drawer for now. Right, but I'm going to look at this set first because this is why I ordered them. And then we'll have a look at the set I was sent incorrectly and the other set that I got. Yeah, Rebecca does have a, a discount code um, for these, which I did use. Thank you, Rebecca. And I believe it's 15% off, but it's for kids at 147 the discount code to get the money off uh, if you pop over to the add more zest youtube page or add more zest .com, there's more details about it there um but rebecca does work closely with them so yeah i bet you're all dying to see what this one is i am i've not opened it yet so let me grab my scissors and we'll have a look oh dear i'm just uh, never gonna go on a no buy am i <laughs> I'll open it this way and it just gets us in into the box a little bit better i do like the way these come packaged and um, i've seen say rebecca's unboxed quite a lot of them so yeah oh and it came in a purple bag as well and i love purple okay let's look let's look so beautifully packaged and we've got the logo on the front of the box so nicely branded paint gem here and we have a scan the QR code with your phone to watch a step-by-step -step tutorial and get exclusive rewards. Oh, I'll be doing that then. I like anything that's a discount or whatever. Okay, so let's have a look. I just love how these come. Oh, look at that. We've got like a Harlequin inside. Oh, I like that. Wow. Better than your average box. <laughs> they are square gems these paintings and they've all come in little bags oh we've got a sneak peek there we've got just put my scissors away we've got a nice little macaroon of uh, wax here which i do like these it's just got a circle of the red wax in there so yeah just keeps they're quite um airtight as well these i believe just keeps you wax that little bit safer so this is our tool kit which again all nicely branded and it's in a little like Ziploc bag, which is quite sweet as well. Handier Ziploc bags. Oh, okay. So we've got a little white boat with a uh, flat bottom. Okay, so that's good. I mean, this is only very small paintings, so you're only going to need very small amounts of gems. Another quick sneak peek there. Must we'll stop doing that. Uh, so a small tray is probably handy. Um, we've got a three. Oh, that might only be a two place. So let me have a look um yeah so we have oh is it two is it no it's definitely oh it's a three placer just looks a bit smaller than a three placer but yeah we've got a little three placer it's one of the old style but uh, you can use these for picking up um these special shaped gems and things so what's this one is this a this is a is it a ten is it a nine this is a no, it's a nine placer that one so we have a nine placer as well which is excellent okay a purple squishy to match our purple macaroon so that's nice nicely thought out and then hmm, my least favorite tweezers okay uh, i've never had anybody actually let me know whether they use these tweezers or not but these are white ones rather than black ones so yeah uh, they are a little bit pointy but i think they're fairly safeish for children i don't know You'd have to uh, see and think, see what you think to your child using them. <laughs> but yeah, I, I just don't use those. So, but it's a nice touch. OK, 
okay so let's pop all those back in there and we'll put the macaroon in there as well so good toolkit for them and then let's have a look at the paintings oh, da, 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 da. I have paid for these as well by the way these aren't a PR package or anything I have actually paid for all these myself and oh look the first one is a pug so I think you can probably tell what this set is Okay, we have a set of little pooches, little puppy dogs. So look at that. They're all partial, so around the edges um, aren't diamond painted. And they're all nice little sizes. They'll make excellent greetings cards, if you do make greetings cards. Let me just see. Yep, they are all the same size. They're all stacking nicely, so let's give them a quick measure. So you can put them in little frames or whatever. So they are uh, ooh, 12 centimetres that way, which is mm, four and three quarter inches. And six inches that way, which is 15 centimetres. So they're like your little standard, uh, if you do get your photographs still printed out, they're like your little standard photo size. Uh, well, they're a little bit bigger, aren't they? Six, do I say four inches? Let me just try that again. They look a little bit, no, they are a little bit wider. Usually you get a 6 by 4 which is a 10 by 15 These are actually um, a nearly 5 inches, which is 12 centimetres. So they're just that little bit bigger. But you can trim off the edges, you know, just take a centimetre off each side and then you've got your 10 by 15s the same. So, yeah, but look at that little face. I just thought that was gorgeous. And my niece does have a pug, so I think this one may be uh, winging its way to Australia at some point once it's been done. And because it's only a partial, uh, it, you're going to find that it's not going to weigh that much to send, which is always a bonus these days. Postage has just gone up ridiculously. Um, when I sent her Christmas cards and everything, uh, it has doubled in price and you think, wow. You know, I know things have gone up, but double the price. Anyway, stop moaning, Liz. We're looking at some beautiful little puppies. So, yeah, nice clear drill field. And that's the little pug there. We then have, uh, it's a Siberian Husky, because it's grey with blue eyes, as opposed to an Alaskan Malamut, which tend to have uh, brown eyes, I do believe. But, uh, yeah, correct me if I'm wrong on that, but that's what I've always understood. So, yeah, they're just, I mean, you can... For a little painting, you can really see what they are and what they're supposed to be. Okay, and then we have a German Shepherd, also known as an Alsatian. And uh, my other niece does have one of these as well. So I just thought, well, I know people that I can give these to. So, you know, it would be rude not to get them, wouldn't it? This one looks like a little Jack Russell. Um terrier type but it does look a bit like a jack russell so i don't believe that there is an inventory sheet so it may tell us on there in with the gems but yeah okay let me put these out so we can count i think there's 15 in this set it was one of the biggest sets um all the sets are the same price which is 34 dollars and 90 cents um, some of them are full drill, some of them are partial drill, and it does vary how many you get in each set. But I just think they're wonderful. I like the idea that they're actually all cut as well, so you don't have to cut them. They're all cut to size, but oh, these gorgeous. Okay, that one's a Doberman. Um, that's an American-style Doberman pincher. Um, pincher actually means dog in German, I do believe, or terrier in German, I think um just from going to crufts a lot i pick up pieces but whether they're I'm actually right or not i don't know but yeah it's got the crop ears um here in the uk we don't crop ears we've never cropped ears um in america they do tend to crop the ears so they have the ears pointing up just makes them i suppose look a little bit more fierce we have the little floppy ears so they don't look quite so fierce but yeah um absolutely gorgeous so that's the doberman pincher we then have a little Yorkshire Terrier with its little bow in. That's really sweet as well. Oh, I love these. I love these. Have you guessed what uh, is going to pop up soon? <laughs> We've got a rough collie there, which is uh, it's a tricolour one, as opposed to like a lassie style dog. This one's got black in it as well. 
we have your little golden cocker spaniel look at that one that's absolutely gorgeous with his tongue out oh we used to have an american cocker spaniel and he was gorgeous so oh and we have I think that one's a Boston Terrier because it's got bigger ears. Um, whoops. French Bulldogs tend to have smaller, rounder ears and a little bit bigger face. So I think that one's a Boston Terrier. But as I say, I'll have a look on the little sheet when we get to it. We have a St. Bernard dog, which is not Gottlieb's bottle of brandy, but I suppose you could always add one. <laughs> We've got an English Bull Terrier, which has his nice long face there. Uh, my friend uh, had an English Bull Terrier who sadly passed away this year. Uh, it was one of Millie's best friends. She just absolutely loved him. She used to run up to him and throw her paws around his neck. And he just used to put up with it. You know, he just put up with her. We've then got this lovely little uh, golden poodle. So a lot of poodles are uh, crossed with other dogs at the moment, but that one is a definite poodle. Could be um, a miniature or a toy. I think it's probably a miniature. It looks a little bit bigger in the face. Oh, we're running out of space. Look, what we've got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve so far. We have a corgi. Very appropriate for the Queen's Jubilee. The Queen used to breed corgis and have a lot of corgi dogs. So, yeah, that's a real happy one with his tongue out and smiling away there. And then that one could be a Staffordshire Bull Terrier. Um, I think it is. I think that one's a Staffordshire Bull Terrier. Yeah, I think that's uh, where we're going with that one. A little white and tan one there. And then we have a little short-haired Chihuahua. Oh, look at that. Really sweet. Oh, I like Chihuahuas. And then finally, look, isn't that funny that it's at the bottom of the pile? We have a Millie. We've got a little Scotty dog. And Scotty dogs are quite hard to get. In fact, a lot of these breeds are quite hard to get in dog diamond paintings. Um, I do have to go searching a lot. So as soon as I saw the new sets had come out and there was a Scotty dog involved, it just had to come home with me. So that's why I ordered um, from Paint Gem. <laughs> My yumming and ahhing just completely stopped. And I thought, right, the Scotty's coming home with me just thinking you could actually cut these out you know and make them into like little patches or um you could sew them onto a bit of material and make them into a little chunky keyring or something because they're quite decent shapes to cut round and cut out or you could even just leave a little white board around but uh, yeah very very cute but i don't know what i'm going to do with that one but that one's not going anywhere that one is staying with me so we have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen pictures in this set, which for thirty-four dollars ninety, I think is brilliant. And as I say, I got fifteen percent off. Um, and if you order two sets, if you spend over fifty dollars, uh, you do get free postage as well. So I got free postage, fifteen percent off, and I got fifteen little paintings. All of these, I love these, and they're just great. You know, if you just want to sit on a night and you just think, oh, I just want to do something. I've just got sort of probably twenty minutes, half an hour. Let's just sit and do them. Right. So the gems are all in bags um, and they aren't separately bagged. So you would need to kit up the whole set. Um, and then you would just literally work on either one at a time or you could do one colour at a time. I think with 15 that might get a bit confusing. But yeah, and they are squares as well, which is unusual for partials. So let's have a look at these. And we've got a little inventory sheet in here as well. Okay. Oh, I just love these. I've just absolutely fallen in love with these. Doggies edition, it's called. Okay, yep, 16 pieces, seven and a half by 10 inches, uh, sorry, seven and a half centimetres by 10 centimetres, three inches by four inches. I think we've got them a little bit uh, bigger than that and 25 colours. Right, there isn't anything to tell us what the dogs are. I think it may be on the website that I've seen it that it told us what the dogs are. But look at that key code. That is huge. <laughs> Uh, really good tells us what drills we've got as well and um, looks like what's that one three five eight 
uh, is going to be, uh, which is 310, so it looks like black is the most colour in all of them, which, uh, yeah, uh, we've got quite a lot of 5200s as well, so black and white is going to be the main colour running through all of the dogs there. But yeah, I just thought, oh, wow. I mean, you've just got to, haven't you? So let's have a quick look at the drills. I love these. I've fallen in love with some diamond paintings. <laughs> I've got all these little doggies on my desk smiling at me. Oh. <laughs> okay, so. Oh, it looks like they're going in backwards order. Let's put them in the kits. They're 25 colours. So we've got a nice pink. My mirror on my uh, iPad has frozen. So again, I can't see wh what you can see. So apologies if you can't see these properly. Um, we've got a little red colour there. We've got browns. There's still, I know Rebecca had static in hair, so I'm not sure whether I've got static or not in these. I, I may put them in the fridge before I kit up. We'll have to see. But there will be a kitting up coming to you shortly. Um, because if there is a risk of static, I'm not going to work out of plastic bags. I'd prefer to get them into containers. Um, I think possibly it's resin gems that you tend to get more static with. Let me know what you think. Because I know the kits that I've had that have had resin gems seem to have quite a bit of static. Possibly. I don't know. But anyway, that's just a feeling that I'm starting to get with them. Uh, yeah, nice little tanny colour. Oh, a little a touch of blue there. Oh, that'll be for the um, Siberian Husky's eyes, won't it? They've got blue eyes. And uh, that looks like a, th oh, a 762. Is that the numbers on the bags as well? Number 19. Oops. <laughs> Turn the page over, Liz. Let me look and I've just dropped some now. Uh, yeah, 762. So the DMC code and the uh, kit sort of key code for each uh, number is on the bags as well oh a nice pearly peachy colour and another pearly peachy colour and a sort of off whitey peachy colour and that should be 5200 nice white there looking pretty good quality yeah okay and a grey and a very dark brown and a chestnutty colour and oh we've just had some fudge some homemade fudge and it was that color it's absolutely delicious i really must stop eating um well not all together but you know what i mean i do need to cut down if these trousers get any tighter i'll be yeah uh, having a very high voice because i can't breathe and <laughs> um, yep yeah, another peach color that's our 310 black not many there really uh, so there's only a few on each picture We've got a 3799, our lovely dark blue for our shading. Let's pop these in the little bag. Okay. Oops. And then it's a shame there's not an Akita in here because our daughter's got an Akita. Uh, but never mind, we've got quite a few other dogs that uh, will definitely be going out to other people. Uh, if you've got a dog, let me know what you've got. And what the name are, I'm going to give them a shout out. <laughs> We've got a slate grey, a lovely pink. These will be the both on the uh, little Yorkie and uh, the tongues on the dogs as well. Okay, more pinks, another brown, another chestnutty brown. And that one's like a caramel chocolate colour. You know me and my chocolate and my sweet. And I've put these the other way around, haven't I? So five, six, oh no. Oh, they are so where's number one did i uh eight nine ten eleven okay did i go through ah they weren't quite in order okay that's all right then i was just thinking where's number one to five gone <laughs> but they were in the middle right because that's when we got our b5 200 okay right i am really looking forward to doing these um to say the great as just little mini pictures if you love your dogs this would look fabulous. Uh, you could even get one of those frames, you know, it's like a multi-frame that has all little pictures. You tend to find that they're like the standard photo size um, and you could put these in there. Um, in fact, I might actually do that because I've got one of those frames. That would be interesting to do. Um, and then with the other mini pictures that you get, you could swap them out and have different ones, different themes. You know how I like swapping my paintings around and giving them all a chance at shining. <laughs> 
stops people getting bored as well. Actually, it's amazing how many people walked past my Jubilee corner, not really realising I'd changed it from Easter to Jubilee. And I would say to them, do you like my Jubilee corner? And they'd be, where's that then? <laughs> you just walked past it. <laughs> Mind you, I can't talk. I'm I'm not very observant. Uh, observant either. I can't even say it. That's how observant I am. Okay, what I'm going to do then, I think I'm going to end this video here with these lovely little pooches and we'll split them into three because it's otherwise it's going to be a really long video looking at the other sets as well. So I hope you've liked looking at these with me. If you have, a thumbs up is always much appreciated. And if you want to come back and see what I get up to next and see if I get these finished, then if you press that subscribe button and the all notifications bell that pops up, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up so you won't miss anything. Okay, thanks for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.